This is how the process begins. First the whole mold is waxed, then the gel coat is mixed with MEK at 1.5% and it is sprayed to between 20 and 30 mils thickness. After the gel coat dried overnight, we sanded off any rough spots that were in the gel coat. After the part's been sanded, we lay the material in their rough cut, mark it with a magic marker, and then I pre-cut all of the structural material. When you get your kit, you're gonna have the materials to make your own putty. The way I like to do it is I'll use two parts micro balloons and then just enough resin to make it like peanut butter. You want to be able to spread it with an applicator and have it fill but not roll up. And what I mean by roll up is like break up in like cookie dough will if you try to pull it. You want it to be able to fill the joint that you're filling up and have it stay in place without sagging but without rolling up in little balls. So you just got to make peanut butter. Next we took the mat that had already been fitted for the boat and put it over the B39 and rolled it in with resin. And finished it out with a ridge roller. The ridge roller is a very important tool in your arsenal that allows you to press the material down and push the air out. This is what an air bubble looks like and you'll notice that I'm just rolling it out with gentle even pressure. After we got the chines and running strikes all filled in and ridge rolled out, we took the rest of the mat that had already been torn for the bottom and the sides and put that in the boat and rolled that out with resin and then finished it with the ridge roller. This is what you need to know about applying resin and then using the ridge roller. Don't try to roll it too dry from the beginning. Just try to get it on there and then spread it. During the summer, I use Cat 11 as my catalyst. It's got DDM9 in it, but it also has a retardant to slow it down. And I mix that at 1.5%. Always use milliliters to measure your resin and your catalyst. I will provide you with a dispenser for the MEK. And you can use, when it cools off, you can use DDM9, but when it's warm, you should use Cat 11 for your catalyst. When I mix the resin, I give it at least 150 or 200 strokes. If you're using colored MEK, it looks like it's mixed in about 10 strokes, but it's not. You need to spin it a lot to get it to mix at the molecular level. I always spin it at least 150 or 200 times before I go to apply it. Also, when you're applying the resin, I told you to just get it on there and then spread it out. When you're ridge rolling, you don't want to use a lot of pressure. You just want to push the bubbles away from the middle towards the edges and or pull the bubbles away from the middle towards the edges and do it in a long stroke and then come back lightly and then do another long pull stroke or push stroke to get it out. It might look to you in the film like I'm pressing the same amount of pressure going forwards and back, but I'm not. I'm always trying to pull the resin and the bubbles from the middle back to the edge. If you watch the video, you'll see the sequence, the way I lay it up. I try to alternate layers so that one overlaps one, then the other one overlaps the first. After each layer has been saturated with resin, we roll it with the ridge roller to press it down and make it stick better and push the resin to the top.
would guess that this is probably about 40% of the surface has been scratched, which is plenty. It'll bond to the, to the slicker surfaces, but it'll bond to the scratch surface a lot better. All right, I'm just gonna wet down the, uh, the strips that I'm filling the running strakes in with. I turn them upside down so it kind of makes it easier to wet. And then I'm gonna flip it over and drop it in there. Order. We'll put it in and then we'll use the rest to try to kind of fill it up. But this way, you've got perfect bond. See what I mean? Kind of mash it down in. Look at how pretty that is. I need a little bit more, I'll get it. After the sections were cut, the bow piece glassed on the bottom with one layer of 1708. The bow piece was glued to the stringer with B39. Once the structural material was finished laid up in the hull and the stringer was made in the bow, we glued the fitted core into the hull. then fared it out, then finished it off, sanded it to get it smooth, then we glassed it in with another layer of 1708. We did the same thing with the transom. We glued the core to the transom, then fared it out, and then glassed it on the inside and made it a one-part hull.
after we let the finished hull set in the mold for a few days, we take it out, trim it, and that's the part that you get and where your project begins.